my name is Jordan. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kiddos, a five-year-old and a two-year-old, and we have one more on the way, and we are a homeschool family. Every Monday, I release a day in life video, and every Thursday, I release an additional video, usually about homeschool or the holidays. And because of new baby, I've been trying to get some of my videos pre-recorded, and I didn't realize I didn't have a video for today. So, I'm filming right now and editing, and then I'll be sending this out too. So this is a very real time video. That said, my day in the life videos, I'm at least a week ahead, if not a couple weeks ahead. So if you watched Mondays and go, wait, this isn't what we planned for on Thursday, it's because that was filmed ahead of time. That said, today's video is going to be a plan with me for next week's homeschool. But before I get into it, please take a moment to like and subscribe. So the first thing that I'm going to do is flip to my next week. I'm gonna write Monday through Friday across the top and then write extras um, on this last side. And then on this side, I'm going to write down my subjects. Now for me, I've changed this up a little bit so that reading and writing are now on the same uh, box and I've created a new box now for literature, for our literature study. Everything else has remained pretty much the same, except that instead of it saying bug unit now, it says ocean unit. The next thing I would need to do, I'm gonna tell you I did not do it this week, is look at a calendar and make sure I don't have any conflicts. When I planned out this week, I totally forgot that this is the 4th of July, and that means that we would have the whole long weekend off, and so I planned these two days, and then we didn't do them which is fine. I now have stuff I can refer back to, but um, just it's important to take a look at your schedule and see, especially with me having a baby. I have lots of doctor's appointments and things, so I want to make sure that there's nothing conflicting, and luckily next week there is not. So from there, I'm going to see kind of where I left off um, in the previous week so I know where I'm going next, um, and I am just going to start at the very top with my reading and writing. So um, I still had one more panel left from my treasure hunt reading, that's what THR stands for, uh, comic book story that my son is reading and illustrating. So I am going to add that in for Monday. And then there's another story and I know that there are at least um, five panels, so I don't need to know any more than that other than he's gonna be working on the fourth story. I only make my son do one comic panel a day right now. Every day we have been using the Core Knowledge Language Arts units. Then I have been rotating between grammar, a writing sheet, and handwriting. So the next one that we are on is grammar. And then I've also been having my son practice reading a um, short story from his reader. Um, he has readers from um, All About Reading Level 1, and we have um, not really had terrible success with that program, but from what he has learned from Treasure Hunt Reading, he can now go back and read some of these stories. So I have then now been incorporating those, especially since, um, here's the one that we're in, especially since they are so beautiful. They're like nicely illustrated um, and they are the same kind of skills now that we are working on with treasure hunt reading. He's able to put these things kind of together. Um, so, and I, I know it's a lot of repetition, but it is, I think, helpful. I think it's really helpful to build confidence to read the same stories over and over again. Um, and then <laughs> we also have these readers. Um, from Core Knowledge Language Arts. We're at the point where the units, each unit has its own um, little reader. And I'm sure I could have, you know, had this professionally bound, but they're fine in this little binder. <laughs> you can see they're very simple and they're free online. And so there's only two of them at this point. The first one is Pet Fun. And then I've printed out the next one ox and man. So I'm going to add those in as well to my schedule. We are doing um, this year for literature, the Magic Tree House, 
And that has been a fun addition and a big hit for my son. So the last uh, chapter we ended on was three in the first book, DVD, meaning Dinosaurs Before Dark. So I am going to start us off with that, starting on chapter four. Then we also do an additional reading from the nonfiction DK book, Dinosaur. Um, and I just kind of pick that out based on if I know there's specific dinosaurs that we're gonna see, but then also just um, some classics since we're only gonna read um, 10 different selections from it because there's only 10 chapters in the book. Then I have the workbook that I created, which has two questions for each chapter, um, a sentence from the chapter for him to trace, and then also a Google imaged uh, coloring like image of a dinosaur. Finally, I have different activities planned out for us to do um, throughout the week to kind of go with it, make it extra fun. We had this, my son just loves dinosaurs, so this was a great series and a great book for the start of our series. Um, but this like highlights hidden puzzles. So we're gonna, we've been doing this every other day. So we'll start this one on Monday and I'll put it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then um, I've also been Pinteresting different activities. We had one that we didn't get to obviously or are not gonna get to Friday. Um, so I'm gonna reuse that, the dino headband. This was like a little thing that he can wear around and be excited about. And then I also have pinned in my Pinterest, a dinosaur um, egg that we're gonna make. Okay, so that gets us through um, pretty much all of the reading and literature portion. Now going into math, we are on the lesson eight test. Um, and then we're gonna get into lesson nine. When we start a new math lesson, I always watch the video and we then do the first um, of the worksheets, but then after that, we'll just do one a day because there are several questions once you get into alpha. Then we're gonna look into history. This has been my kind of uh, history book that I've created. It has the assessments and activities from Core Knowledge, but it also has um, this guide that I made for myself to kind of help me out here. So um, I've crossed out all the books that we have either read or were just not available at my library. So we do have, coming up next, we're going to read this book because this first um, unit for history and geography is about continents, countries, and maps. So I'm going to add that in as the first one. And I can see that this has enough going on in it that we'll just read this book um, for one day. My goal is to try to keep whatever we are doing for uh, science and history to be under 20 minutes for um, each thing, 20 minutes because between that and the additional electives that we have, then that'll you know, put us at an hour. Um, and I don't really want us to go past that for our afternoon activities, because by then we're kind of ready to, to start wrapping things up. So that'll be for Monday. And then looking here, we have the additional activity, making and using a classroom and school map modify for our home. So for that, we're basically just going to be making a map for ourselves of one of the rooms in our house. And I will let my son pick that room but I'll put that down for Tuesday, AA for additional activity, make a map. Then looking again, we have our next additional activity, practicing directions, north, south, east, and west. For this, we need a video and a copy of world map one, two. Um, I already have printed out that map here. It's right here. So I'm gonna guess that in the video, it is going to give us directions and we're gonna to have to kind of follow it on our map. So I will give this for one day. So additional activity, practicing directions. Then we have another additional activity, understanding map keys. For this, we're going to need a copy of uh, additional practice one, three and some colored pencils. I know that's already printed out. And then for Friday, the next one, additional activity, getting to know the world. 
There are two online videos that are linked for me for this, and then the uh, additional practice one for, and I'll need colored pencils, which is not a big deal, but I'm gonna write that down. Next for science, this year we are using core knowledge that we just started. Our first unit is on pushes and pulls, and we have done everything from the unit opener at this point. And so now we're going to return to, uh, or we're gonna start, I should say, lesson one of this. Um, and I've broken this down in a way that's simple for me to understand. I'm looking at this and I'm trying to break this down into chunks of, like I said, 20 minutes. I don't really wanna exceed that, but looking here, um, the first thing would be to review the question board. That's not gonna take us very long. We look at this pretty frequently to help with the other activities from the unit opener. And this is just telling us like, what's the big question we're trying to answer and then also some ideas that we've put onto the board. And this will also give us a chance to add anything if we want, but that's only gonna take us like a minute or two. The next thing it says that we're gonna do is go play on the playground for a little bit. And then we have to go back and add our ideas to the question board to try to answer this additional question. I think all of this needs to be on the same day. So I'm gonna add this all under Monday. Okay, so this will remind me of which three things we're doing, but also I can come back to my guide for more detail, or I can even go to the full guide from Core Knowledge if I'm having questions. So then next day, I'm thinking we're gonna do activity page 111. Then we see we have another way to review the question board, putting on an additional question to add our thoughts to, and then there's an activity page. Again, these two things shouldn't take too long, so I'm gonna do A through C here on Wednesday. That puts us to here, where again, we review the question board, and then we have another activity page, and then a discussion of the results. I think probably all three of these can be also done on the same day. That would put us into um, lesson 1.3 where we're gonna to add to the question board and then read chapter two, and that should be plenty. Keep in mind that can all change. Um, if we don't get to all of it, it's not the end of the world. I just don't cross it off. And then I go back to it the next day and we just pick up from where we left off. At the bottom, I have two sections blocked out for um, our ocean unit that we have been working on. This is our family unit study that we do in the morning time together. Um, we start with breakfast while we're reading our books and then we uh, continue into some activities. I try to plan for four separate readings um, and two activities each day. So to start us off with, we have started this book, Shark School. There are six chapters in this book. Um, and we have only read the first one, so we'll be able to hopefully finish this book by the end of next week. I will put this in for each of the days. Next, we have been reading from the Oceans Atlas. We have started off with the pages about the specific um, oceans that we have been studying, um, but we have not gotten to any of these. There's so much writing on any one spread that we just do one um, page spread each day and so this will be done every day as well. Then as I said right now our topic is specifically looking at the different oceans that are on the globe and like their characteristics. We um, have already started this book and we only have left this much of it. Um, with this book I've been reading two two-page spreads or four pages total each day. So this will account for two days, which means I have three days unaccounted for. And so that's where we are gonna start our blue planet. And I think again, depending on how much is on a page, though it seems to me maybe just one page spreads, will be good again for this. Maybe if there is not as much, I would do two, but I know there's plenty in this book because we haven't started it yet to get us through the other three days. 
Then for each of the days, I would have an additional book. So on one of the days, we're gonna read In the Ocean. We'll read Pearl. Commotion in the Ocean. Ocean Waves for All. And then finally, All the Fish in the World. This one, I was already kind of flipping through it a bit and it seems like it is a lot. So we are going to start this book on Friday, but we are not going to finish it. Then as I said before, we're gonna have two activities each of the days. Yesterday, my son started this right in the missing number, um, but he didn't get a chance to finish it before we had to kind of clean up and, and move on to whatever else we were doing. Uh, so he's gonna finish this on Monday. And then I've pulled out this word search that I found for free on Teacher Pay Teachers. Um, when we do a word search, this is a newer skill for my son. He is only five. And so um, I only make him do three words a day. And so this will take us all the way through Friday. And then to kind of have some additional activities, I have this uh, jumbo coloring and activity book for Baby Shark. My thought is that two of the days, I will pull a page from here and have him do an activity from it. Um, play tic-tac-toe, he could do color by number. I'm not too sure. <laughs> We've had this for a really long time, so it's funny to me to see which pages got colored on and it's barely any of them. Um, there's some tracing in here. So two of the days, I'll do this probably on Tuesday, Thursday. Then for some of the other activities we have, because we are using the Waldock Way um, Ocean Unit Study, it came with Ocean Animal Bingo, and the kids have played with this before and really liked it, so we'll play this on Monday. Uh, my mom just got the kids this new game, Who's Hiding in the Ocean, a spot and match game, where it looks like there's different ocean cards with sea creature cards that we are looking for in the picture. So we'll do this one on Wednesday. And then another new gift from my mom is this sticker by letter, Ocean Fun. Um, so instead of it being sticker by number, it's the letters, and this is just kind of helping him uh, get a little bit more familiarity with that, but also it's fun, it's oceany. Then under extras, I am going to include at lunchtime, we have been watching Reading Rainbow. Um, so I'm just going to write Reading Rainbow and then do five little check boxes underneath and each day that we actually do that, I'll color it in. Same with um, Duolingo ABC. I used to write that in under reading. Um, now I'm just going to put it kind of up here um, and hopefully hopefully we get to it. It's a, it's a really nice review. It is a free app. Um, we really like it. In addition to watching Reading Rainbow at lunchtime, I also read from the Core Knowledge Domains. I try to read, read two reading selections, and then by the time I've done that and they've watched Reading Rainbow, we're usually about done with lunch. So our current domain is all about taking care of the earth. We just finished the one on natural resources, so I'm going to try to write down what we still have keeping in mind that I am looking for uh, two titles per day, so I need 10 titles total. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I'm gonna go and grab three books that we checked out from the library that was suggested by Core Knowledge to specifically go with this domain. The first suggested book is Where Does the Garbage Go? The next one I have is Michael Recycle Meets Litter Bug Doug. And then the final one I have is The Green Mother Goose, Saving the World One Rhyme at a Time. And this one has several rhymes in it, so we might not get to every single one in here. We might extend this to next week as well. The final thing I'm gonna include are our extras or elective type things. We have three that we've been working on, anatomy, time, and critical thinking. We only actually have one more day of anatomy left before I switch it out. I'm just gonna write anatomy once here because once we finish that final one, we're gonna move into our next body-like thing, which is right here for the five senses. And we'll do four of those since one day is gonna be on anatomy. 
All right, so this is what our whole week looks like for homeschool next week. And this can be flexible, just like how we didn't get two whole days done over here. And you can see that not everything got done that I planned yesterday for history. That's okay, right? I, if, if it doesn't get done, it just rolls over into the next day or the next week. We homeschool year round, so we have that flexibility. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.